Hello my beautiful Cancerians. Hope everything is going well with everyone. Hope you're feeling safe and happy and healthy and everyone that you love is feeling the same way, secure. This is a love message in a bottle love reading for for the month of May. Uh, so this will complete the weekly series of love readings. So here we go, Cancer message in a bottle. These are love messages. They are for singles, they are for people in union, they are for couples who are married or anywhere in between. These are just the messages that Spirit's going to bring to you. For anyone who would like a private personal reading, the information is in the description box below along with my credentials and contact info. For anyone who would like to enter the contest, please thumbs up the video, make a comment, Comment and subscribe. All right, let's get started here. Messages in a bottle, the overall energy. Tick tock, I got that for Gemini also. All right, tick tock, what are you feeling pressured for time wise? Tick tock, oh, Treasure Island, you want to manifest your dream home, dream relationship, and your happy place. All right, go to the sea. All right, so that really is the message there is go inside, go into your emotions, delve into your emotions so that you can have great clarity about what is going on. Very Cancerian, right? All right, uh, let's take a look and see messages for our Cancers messages, divine messages for cancer about love, divine messages for cancer about their love life. And look at that. All right. Here we have Daughter of Cups, very sweet energy, like ve very artistic, very soft, very kind, very loving. This is a person who probably works at the dog shelter or volunteers part time. Um, we have the High Priest, uh, excuse me, the Magician card, I'm sorry, uh, the Magician card. And that is, you have all the tools to manifest what you want. Number three, your ships have come in. Time to really think about a, the practical matters of how you're going to handle your dreams as they manifest. All right, I think I might have bumped my camera here. There we go, easy to do. All right, let's see. Look at that, a new beginning, love it. Five of coins, so for some of you, you're getting, you're getting, or you're dealing with old wounds from feeling left out in the cold. Uh, excuse me, Parker, could you let us hear the reading, please? That's my little puppy. He likes to dig in his blanket before a nap. All right. The Hanged Man, you are thinking about things. You're looking at them um, in a different way. You're looking at them, you, you're trying to look at them from the viewpoint of someone else or from another angle to grant, gain insights. Ooh, self-imposed restriction. You feel very restricted in your love life. All right, why do you feel? Okay, so, ooh, look at this. Your energy, all right, so your relationship energy is powerful as we come to, because I do this sort of time-wise. So we're looking at manifesting a legacy love. And we get, this is beautiful. This is going to come in out of nowhere. So I have to say this is new love. I do not believe that this is a reconciliation. For some of you, it could be. So for whom it resonates, I get that, you know, um, those of you who know that this could be a reconciliation um, will know that. I also would say for some of you, you may be missing someone who's away from home, Wheel of Fortune. To me, this speaks that sometimes we're separated from the one we love and we get we have a reconciliation which actually is just getting to see them and that's what i get for some of you if you're dating somebody who's military or somebody who has to travel or somebody who's been abroad studying or you know doctors without borders anyone so it looks as though for some of you cancer your person is coming home you won't feel left in the cold because wheel of fortune is bringing your person home um, the father of swords is typically the energy of an intellectual person can be a professor could be a lawyer could be an engineer could be a surgeon um, but the criteria for that person 
is that they have to think without emotion to do their job properly. It qualifies for, um, you know, firemen. It qualifies for, uh, although firemen tend to be night, uh, you know, fire signs. They tend to be uh, knights of wands. But for this energy, this is Aquarius energy. So we have Gemini on the board. We have Sagittarius on the board. The King of Swords, Aquarius. The Five of Coins is Taurus energy. The Hanged Man is Cancer energy. The Eight of Wands is very much um, Sagittarius energy. The Ten of Coins is Virgo. The Eight of Swords is Gemini. And the Daughter of Cups is Cancerian energy. Look at that, how sweet. Okay, so Three of Swords, okay. So I wanted to see what's TikTok. So you've been missing somebody. You've been separated. Going to the sea could also mean one of you could be traveling, getting in a boat, you know, traveling in some other way. Okay, so we're gonna clarify these cancer, clarifying cancer's cards. All right, why is the Daughter of Cups? So the Daughter of Cups message and for love would say, you know, really, really use your creative side. You know, this is a really good time to go within. Look at this. I had these two cards that flipped over, sort of stuck back to back. So I get that you feel as though someone has not been honest. You wonder if someone is married without having told you. Next to the magician card, you're seeking answers. That's what Go to the Sea is about. Trying to look at things from a different perspective. For some of you, you may have been ghosted by someone. So you know, this is a general reading. It will resonate differently for different viewers. I just want to thank my subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I want to welcome all new viewers. And for those who would like to enter the contest, subscribe, um, make a comment and thumbs up the video. All right. So here we go. Look at that five of cups. Yep. You're pretty sure that somebody has, has been dishonest with you and you feel as though they are married and intend to stay married. Why is the Three of Wands here for you? Why is this Three of Wands for your future? Oh my goodness, Three of Wands is clarified by the Three of Wands. Well, you know you have to take action. So that's what that card is about. What action will Cancer take? Oh, you'll make a decision. Scorpio energy. And what will you make a decision? What decision will you make to fight? to fight for the relationship, to fight against lies. Wheel of Fortune. Oh, interesting card. Now, why would the Wheel of <laughs> the Three of Swords again? This is so crazy. All right. I had some really, well, message in a bottle, right? You figure that some of the words will be obliterated because they might not have been sealed perfectly from water damage. So a broken heart probably a third party situation, probably married. We have two threes here. You feel really lucky. Why do you feel so lucky? Wow. You worked on, you worked with this person and you created something very beautiful. The eight of coins is all about like journeyman status. You're almost at mastery level of something. And what we're getting here is this beautiful energy of having created a very complicated project. So it could be an artistic work together. It could be a very multi-layered project at work. You could be building something because spiders build their webs. So, and it's also a, a, web, a web we weave, right? Could be the magician card. Why do you feel so lucky that this person's been here? So you learned a lot from this person. You learned a skill, a trade, a craft, and here we go, a new beginning again. All right, this is bordering on odd. And the card that is flipping, Scorpio energy for a new beginning. Well, that's very Platonian, right? Scorpio energy, so you might be dealing with a Scorpio. And this is really loving somebody but not talking about it. We have the Eight of Coins again. The two of you are mirroring each other. You both feel like you miss each other. You both feel as though the separation is unbearable. You both feel as though there are, are hidden secrets. You Oh, wow. This is really quite the reading. Quite the reading. Why is the 
Wheel of Fortune here, the Death card. Okay, so if you had a lover who was in a dangerous situation, the Wheel of Fortune would say that the danger has passed, okay? That is beautiful, and why is a Death card here? Beautiful, look at that healthy, vibrant. His horns are in place. He has come through a very tough situation. And for some of you, this really could be Corona. You know, it could be, well, it could be the, the Geddon, the uh, Corona Beer Geddon, or I shouldn't say that, um, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean, crazy Geddon. Yep, and healing, look at this, healing. All right, what about this? This is a third party. Yeah, it looks like a third party situation. I don't even think there's a question about that. Or let's see if there's anything more about the Three of Swords that can tell us. Sometimes the circumstances, like you're sequestered away from someone and you can't see them and you feel left in the cold and you, you love them and you're happy and you know they'll be okay. That's butterfly. I would say that's more healing. When I'm looking at this, for whom this resonates, I feel as though you had to be away from a loved one. There we go, high priestess, tick tock. This person was very much on a clock um, and you felt very much that they would heal, but this could also represent going in and out of sleep or consciousness, right? Uh, to the sea, could be dreaminess, a dream state. Let's see what that is about. Father of Wands, the ability to, to be vibrant again, the ability to get up, rise again, right? This lightning strike, lightning strike, Eight of Wands, Father of Wands, all about vibrancy, healing, a lightning strike that brings in a really beautiful uh, healing. Let's see what else. Nine of Pentacles. All right, so the Nine of Pentacles is someone who is very abundant on their own. The Justice card calls for, that's Libra energy. So I'm getting that there is a partner here for most, for whom this resonates, that wants to marry their soulmate. You know, I'm not getting soulmate cards specifically in this. Um, may or, you know, may seem like a soulmate, may not be a soulmate because we do have Treasure Island, but clearly somebody that you you feel is is someone that you can't live without. That's your that's your treasure. That person is your treasure. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Father of Swords. Father of Swords. I have to say that there are more duplications in this reading than I've ever had before. All right. And why is the Ten of Coins here? Daughter of Cups, okay, so a child was worried. It was very burdensome. Nothing could be done about it. Well, I have to say, so is this Cancer a, your partner who's been ill? Seven of Cups, yeah, I would say yes, because um, toxins are ruled by Pisces. So the theory goes, okay, and the magician card. Magician is magus the healer also. So the doctors, doctors used to be thought of as magicians. I would, you know, what I'm seeing here, the way I'm reading this is, yes, this could be a third party situation in which one person wants to, to be married to the person who's married and they get lucky enough to encounter the death of a relationship and the justice card is the implementation of paperwork for divorce. For others, I see someone who healed. And there may have even been, you know, sort of a last wishes sort of thing or last, um, last rites feeling a vigil of some sort. Um, but again, I don't, I don't, I just don't see this as really very, um, very dramatic. I mean, other than the worry, I don't see this as very dramatic. I feel that, you know, you had the high priestess, the magician, the magician. There was every feeling that this person, um, if they did have to heal, that they would come through it. The, the, op the outlook was always very good. So, um, you look good. I have to say cancer, that's really beautiful. Really beautiful energy, healing energy on all levels, a beautiful outcome, a happiness. And that is your reading. Those are your love messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest like the buffet table. If it doesn't fit, don't wear it. Bye-bye.